So, uh, my name is Brian Russell, and I'm going to give you 110 rules for Prometheus. Julius is only able to cover like 10, so obviously there's other things you should be aware of. It's good and bad practices, and considering that there's about 300 seconds here, I've got about two and a half seconds each. So everyone's looking forward to that. <laughs> uh, actually, wait, no, there's a mistake here. Sorry, that's the wrong, wrong title. Who was in charge of the CFP and Lightning Talks? Really, we should have a chat with them. Uh, so I'm actually going to talk about rule 110 for Prometheus, which is very similar. Uh, so, you all by now probably know who I am. I do Prometheus stuff. You know, you can also give me robust reception money if you want. Um, but if you look back to last year's Lightning Talks, um, you know, I gave a talk on the formal properties of PromQL. And, uh, you know, demonstrating that PromQL was Turing complete by implementing Conway's life, which you may remember looks something like this. So that's still working. I saw it lighter. Only took like a year and a half to see it lighter. Anyway, but maybe you missed that, or maybe you found the talk was a little too formal. Um, so I figured, let's let's go again. Let's have another go. Uh, so rule 110, it's a linear cellular, cellular automata. So it's one dimensional, okay? Whereas life is two dimensional. So it's just line, 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 line of reviewing it, whereas you need a 3D structure to look at the evolution of Conway's life. And here are the rules for it. So basically, if the cell above me, like the previous cell, and the one left and right were all alive, I'll be dead. If the one above me, one to the left, were alive, one to the right was dead, I'll be alive, and so on. And if you put this down and look at the number in binary, it comes out as 110. So there's other interesting rules like 73. Um, so, how would we implement this in PromQL? Well, we could create a state metric, one, ones and zeros, do something custom to visualize the changes over time, use console templates again, but that's kind of been done and, you know, it sounds like a lot of work. But we already have things in Prometheus that visualize the state of things changing over time. Like the expression browser in Grafana. So, could we use that instead? So in Prometheus 2.0, uh, you know, we, we, we could have the values for various cells be 0, or 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on, to represent the actual height. Um, and it'd be nice if we have the gaps as gaps, so it'd be annoying if like, the 4 went down to 0 and then back up again, that'd be ugly. Uh, the good news is that with Prometheus 2.0 staleness and changes for that in the expression browser, we can do that. And uh, so thanks very much to whoever implemented that and is talking about it tomorrow. So we're going to start small. We start and we create initialize things and initialize the cell number one to, well, one. And we set up this state. So firstly, if this previous state, we'll use it. Uh, otherwise, we basically expand left and we initialize. Good news, rule 110 only ever expands left, so we don't have to worry about having less than one inside the label name. And if you do that, and I uh, kind of tweeted this out to uh, make you wonder what the hell I was doing, uh, and it produces this wonderful graph. You know, utterly useless and it's going to eat true resources like no one's business because it's creating a new time series every second. But it seems like in principle we can get, you know, the expression browser to do what we want. So let's think about how we're going to implement our rules. Well, the first rule is, right, we need the center to be true, that's the current state, unless the left rule exists, so we want to make it to a big zero and not exist, and of course we need the right to be true. Nice and simple. We can actually combine uh, 110 and 010 because they both have a zero on the right. So if you know what Canon maps are, I didn't use those at all. I just realized afterwards I could, I could compress this down. Uh, so we have the state, and we must want to make sure that the right is, that's uh, right, the left is, uh, say that the right is missing. Grand. Similarly, uh, we, for 101 and 001, now here things are different because we don't have a center one that we can just reuse, so we just to take the one on the right and shift it left. So that's what that first one is doing, and we want to make sure that the existing one is, isn't set. Uh, then we kind of just or those expressions together. All the other things we want dead, and well, it's dead, so that's fine. And we need init as well to get things going. And we'll now show you live what that looks like, because this takes about five minutes to produce something useful. 
we go. State. Execute. Yep, there's lots of stuff. And if you look at the Wikipedia page for rule 110, it looks very similar to that. <laughs> and this is Turing complete. You can clap. <laughs> so, yes, always a backup image in case the demo doesn't work. What have we learned today? Well, we have learned that uh, you know, Platonic ideals exist, and PromQL was Turing complete last year, it's still Turing complete this year. So it's good that math still exists. Uh, you know, rule 110 is Turing complete, and we could implement in PromQL, which is Turing complete. And none of the above is in any way surprising to anyone who knows what the words Turing tar pit means, which also means don't use this in production. And of course, the new staleness semantics can be used for crazy, inadvisable things. The last point I hope is self-evident. So uh, I hope that was useful, and um, so that is the end of the lightning talks.